Hello everybody, welcome to our demo. This is our web UI. It is hosted locally for security reasons, and as you can see, it is quite simple by design. We have two nav links, a main page and an import export page, as well as a begin scan button. Today we're gonna start our demo off by pressing that button, and we're gonna see that here on the logs, it has begun scanning the hot folder and there's no photos to be scanned. Now every 10 seconds, it's gonna rescan that hot folder until either the stop scan button is pressed or an image has been found. Now I'm going to drop two images into the hot folder here so we can give it a little look at the pipeline. After an image has been found, it'll be sent to the back end where the photo will be analyzed and the statistics will be gathered. Here's our first image, Apple 1. You can see that some uh, bounding boxes have been drawn over and some statistics are being shown at the bottom here. Now in a second, it's going to show the second image that it found, Apple 2. And I'm going to stop the pipeline so we can get a bit of a better look at some of these. As you can see, it's drawn bounding boxes over all of the images that it recognizes. This is so the researchers can catch minor errors like this and decide if they're worth repeating scanning the image or not. It also catches the white balance card. That is for getting the color pixel distribution so that we can uh, decide or find out uh, what the main color of the apple is. Now, the QR code isn't recognized by the image analysis, but it is recognized by something else in the pipeline. And as you can see, the image was originally called apple2.jpg, but after the QR code scanning, it has been renamed to finished2.jpg. That's the purpose of the QR code. Now, the analysis process has scanned the images and gotten some statistics that are shown down here for quick viewing, and it's also logged them inside of the database. So if I head over to the database, we can get a little look. We just scanned two images, 39 and 40, renamed to finished one and finished two with a date. And then over in the view table is where the fun stuff is. You can see, again, the images we scanned, 39, finished one, and 40, finished two, as well as all of these statistics that is gathered from them. Now, back over to the main page. If we get over to the import export page, here we can download the database files as an Excel file for easy viewing and storing. And we can also upload um, old historical data as the researchers have old data that they want to be able to add to the um, database in the future. That's the end of our demo, everybody. Thanks for watching.